Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, trying to get a little closer to my wireless, though. Our internet has been going in and out all morning, so um, and that was happening a few times. I'm not sure what's going on in the world. It was happening with some of my friends as well. So I'm back here. Same theme. Um, Self-evaluation. Uh, ways that you can actually take a look and see what's going on with you. Um, and again, I was talking about be nice. So Be Nice is um, the West Michigan Mental Health Foundation's program to go out into workplaces and schools and share tips so that people can understand if people might be experiencing anxiety um, or depression and need some help. And um, so we're trying to stomp out the stigma of mental health. Uh, all of us need mental fitness, all of us. And it's a real slippery slope when you're starting out feeling anxiety, feeling anxious, and then how that can morph into a deeper anxiety or deeper depression. Um, so some of these signs that I'm gonna share with you today, it's just gonna make a lot more sense about what's really going on. Uh, we have this fight or flight or freeze, as I tell everyone, fight, flight, or freeze. Um, by, it's, it's a mechanism inside our bodies to protect us from a true physical attack. But most of us are not under attack. Some of us are under verbal attack or physical attack or feel like we're being attacked. Um, but for the most part, we're not in true mortal danger. Um, and so that is the reason why we have this fight, flight, or freeze. However, today in our century, we are really um, a very high performance um, society. And so the first thing I wanna talk about are expectations. So there are societal expectations about how we should be or not be. There are parental expectations. We have expectations for ourselves and expectations for ourselves, for us. And all of that can really create a lot of pressure for us, um, especially the self-inflicted expectations. And um, as everyone who works with me knows, I'm all about goal setting and moving you to release your gifts and talents freely. Um, releasing your gifts and talents freely is a fabulous thing but the pressure of feeling that you need to perform at a certain level and you have fear that you might not is actually quite dangerous. So I remember being at a track meet once and I heard a parent tell a child, oh, it's okay to be nervous. I mused about that for days and I thought, you know, this is a track meet. It's really not okay to be nervous. It's normal to feel, maybe you feel anxiety that you might fail or might not do as well as you thought you could. So yes, those are normal feelings. However, is it really okay to be nervous for a track event or for any sort of you know, school performance, for a meeting, for all of these things that happen in our daily lives pretty much on a regular basis? If you have those feelings of anxiety, performance anxiety, social anxiety, um, as a young person, they're probably only gonna get worse as you age. And so it's really important to consider that. If you're triggering fight or flight for very simple little reasons, um, it's time to get a handle on it. And the sooner you do, the better. And yes, it doesn't matter what age you are. You can be uh, any age and learn pressure-free tools to help you prevent the release of these stress hormones. So feeling anxious can release these hormones and then you're in a vulnerable state. Then you might have fears like fear of failure, fear of loss, fear that people will reject you if you don't succeed. So all of these kinds of fears come into play. So the first self-evaluation is to take a look and see, do you have fear and anxiety over things that perhaps they're not real physical attacks? They're, you know, a microphone getting stuck in your face and you need to speak, getting called on in class, um, presenting at a meeting, all of these tiny things, maybe travel anxiety. A lot of people experience anxiety when they fly or take a long trip. Um, so those are places to take a look and say, okay, yeah, I do feel some anxiety in these instances. Also with anxiety, do you feel anxious for no reason at all? I've explained that a few times in some of my videos, but that is also a key that you're releasing too much stress hormone, um, too much of these stress hormones. And that's because the second flood will make your brain feel anxious. So maybe you don't have any real reason to feel anxious, but you still feel dread in the pit of your stomach or some sort of tension um, and that feeling of anxiety. So it just can be because that cortisol has hit your brain. 
Um, so once you understand that, it can kind of make a little more sense and you can cut yourself a break and realize that there are ways to deal with this anxiety and move away from it. Um, so there are other things that happen too in this area of your face. So you can do an evaluation of your face. Do you have furrows in your brow like this? That's usually because you're tense a lot. You're going this way in intention. And some people experience headaches or migraines, um, closing of the throat, and dry eye. So those are some things that happen up here that could tell you that you're triggering too much of these stress hormones. Um, tension in your body. So if you have tension across your shoulders, upper back in here, your throat closing, um, a lot of people feel it right in the chest. They feel a tightness in their chest. So that's a sure sign that you've released too much of the stress hormones. And then the gut. A lot of people feel have a queasy stomach or IBS or digestive issues. Um, certainly moving into bulimia and um, anorexia, you know, problems here in the gut um, can really be um, stress-based, that you're releasing too much of these hormones. Um, if you have reproductive issues, that can be another um, reason why you're releasing too much of these stress hormones. Uh, you can do a scan too of um, shakiness. So do you have shakiness in your limbs? You know, your hand tremors a little bit. Um, your legs uh, shake a little bit. Or you're fidgety, so you're picking at things. I saw something interesting about um, this cool thing people were putting on desks to help children who fidget. But I'd like to go deeper into the real reason why children fidget. And the real reason is they've released too much adrenaline. <laughs> So they were probably nervous about their math test or something was going on there. Now they have all this nervous energy. Nervous energy is very different than focused energy. And so fidgeting or, you know, chewing your nails, um, picking, um, chewing pens, any of that is a sure sign too. So that can be something you evaluate. Um, if you get sick, so that's a sure sign that you're lowering, your immune system is lowered. So um, if you get sick throughout the year, that's a real sign. People were really ill this year um, in our area, and I think it was really kind of nationwide that people were even ill during the summer where you really don't think about people having colds. And I just saw another post of someone taking their child home from school because they were ill. So illnesses are a sure sign that your immune system is not protecting you from outside and even inside things happening. Um, chronic disease of any kind, uh, let's talk about the skin. So I had a couple of chronic diseases. I had eczema for 35 years, so I, it was on my hands. So if you have something going on with your skin, eczema, psoriasis, stress acne. I had stress acne. Look at my face now. <laughs> no acne. Um, on my cheeks for years. You know, people thought it was nice blush, but no. <laughs> it was actually uh, stress acne. So these are some things that you can take a look at. Your skin is your largest organ, and it will reflect your health. Um, if you have sweaty palms. So that can be a sure sign that you're triggering too much of these hormones. Um, for a really comprehensive list, if you sign into my website, um, and I'm gonna put a link on here too, I send you a free checklist and you can take a look and see, oh yeah, I've got this or this or this. And then you'll actually get my pressure-free method, three simple steps. The first are targets. You can take a look at that checklist once you've checked everything off and say, okay, are there things I wanna move toward? Are there things I want to have happen in my life that are positive? Are there things I want to move away from? So that checklist is there for you. And then you can also take a look at two, a, a couple of other checklists for um, triggers. Triggers is step two. So targets, triggers. And with triggers, you're discovering what is it that causes you to feel angry, anxious, annoyed, or ashamed. Those are the emotions and any other negative or ultra positive emotion that's going to trigger too much adrenaline that's gonna release these floods of hormones that debilitate you. So you can take a look at your triggers and mapping out your triggers is what I do in my coaching. I help you get really clear about what's causing those emotions for you so you can really understand it. And then step three, so step three are tools. I've created over 40 tools in my course and that sounds like a lot. However, um, people who work with me, each one of you, you know, you're so complex and you're so unique. And these triggers started, you know, these effects of these triggers started when you were in utero. When you, you know, if you had a mother who was nervous or anxious um, or super adrenalized, <laughs> like most moms are today, by the way, um, that affects the fetus, that affects the baby. 
And um, so you actually started habits of reaction before you were even born. And then when you were born, they just kept enhancing. Then as you became an adult, you developed your own habits of reactions to certain things. And you may have tried to counter some things that were happening in your youth as well. So you're a very complex person. So in my coaching, we go very deep and I help you really understand what are causing you, what is causing you to trigger at a very deep level. And we debunk all of that. And then I give you these amazing tools. And most of my tools are fairly simple, though some are complex and I have systems of tools because we're trying to break habits that are many years or even decades. For me, it's decades. Um, and that's, that's difficult. So breaking those patterns is so critical to stopping the release of these hormones. I see some people have joined. Hi, Rob. Hi, Dan. I'm so glad you're on here this morning. Um, thanks for joining. And I think I saw Dale and Sherry too. Fabulous. If you like this, by the way, please put some likes or hearts. Facebook loves that for some reason. And when you like and heart, it actually goes out to more people. And I know there are people who are exp experiencing way too much stress these days and it's harming them, it's harming their families, and it's harming everybody they work with. So when we can start to get a handle on all of that, that can really make a huge difference. Hey, thanks for the likes. That's fabulous. <laughs> um, so please sign in and, and get that checklist. It can, it's so simple, but it's a really easy way for you to get started and a really easy way for you to take a look at everything. And if you wanna go deeper with me, I give a free strategy session for people who are serious. They're serious at wanting to get a handle on their stress or they simply wanna improve their life. They wanna have a more peaceful life. Uh, they wanna be happier. They wanna get rid of the anxiety and the stress and the overwhelm. Also people who want to get a promotion or get a new job or move into a different direction. Um, anytime people are in transition. I also help people who have heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, you know, anything that has to do with chronic disease. So if you know of someone who is suffering from chronic disease, even things like joint pain, um, every time we release these hormones, we debilitate our body and, and we harm it in a lot of ways. And so when you can stop doing that, things start to work a whole lot better. So I'm living proof of it and so are many, many of my clients. You can see their testimonials on my website. That's lingles.com or pressure-free.com. And I wanna thank you so much for coming on this morning. Please share this out if it was helpful to you. Put a comment down below and tell me what you learned. Um, and if you're watching this replay, please heart, share, like, get it out. Um, I'm really, truly on a mission to create more peace in this world and to reduce stress. And oh, Loretta, I see Loretta just joined us. Um, Loretta, I do programs at VA hospitals. <laughs> I've actually coached people um, in management in VA hospitals, so I would love to come to your new place. <laughs> uh, I, and I don't just work with individuals. I work with groups of any size in my trainings. Um, and I particularly love helping educators, people in the financial industries, um, and um, people in healthcare because those are people who when I touch them and share this method, they can spread it out. It's really exciting when that happens. So, um, and people of any age, I coach as young as age 10. Um, if it's a really serious student or student athlete, someone who's really um, about achievement um, and will do the work with me, then I will coach as young as age 10. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a fabulous day. So do a little self-evaluation with my checklist. Take a look at what's really going on both mentally and physically and see what is happening in you that could be stress induced and start to take the steps to really make a difference here. And if you know about my courses, you know, the only way to truly make a difference is to stop stress at its source. And that's what pressure free does. Thanks so much and have a fabulous Memorial Day weekend.